Sabadega and hold your peace. we are familiar with the first immediate and natural human response to adverse or otherwise frightening conditions. The dictionary describes panic as a sudden sensation of fear which is so strong as to dominate or to prevent reason and logical thinking. Replacing it with overwhelming feelings of anxiety and frantic agitation consistent with an animalistic fight or flight reaction. The human nature is one that is inclined to move and act quickly in response to a variety of stimuli, particularly negative or worse, when it is potentially harmful. We are hardwired to do whatever it requires to preserve our image, our sanity, and our life. In fact, I propose to you that it is difficult to sit in dire circumstances and do nothing. The natural thing for us is to react and to try to do something about the situation that we are in. Help us this morning. As a result, we are always trying to get into God's business instead of minding our own. What do I mean? I mean that there are certain things that we are to be concerned with. For example, in the case of Israel, they were to be preoccupied with taking the journey to the land of promise. The instruction, as it often is, was simple. Uh, get out of Egypt and go in the direction that I am leading you. God's instruction to us is always uh, quite simple. It is us uh, who end up trying to complicate the matter. Concerning ourselves with things that God did not put or, or assign to us to do so that we become engaged in conversations and in activities that God did not assign us. Church has gone to sleep. It's all right. I won't take my time to build this and then, then I'm going to be out of here. It means that the how and the challenges of the journey and the enemy we will encounter are not our concern. Are you still here? Yes. But it is God's concern. Yes. Uh, the reason we can simply be concerned with just following the instruction is because of the individual who is giving the instruction. It all hinges on the person and the character of God. If man gives you an instruction, please know that it is up to you to carry it out. And oftentimes, uh, when things get rocky, when you get into difficulty, there will be no help and there will be no concern. However, when God gives an instruction, it is a done deal. Meaning, if God tells you you are going to the promised land, you can step out in confidence knowing that his promise will secure you. And there is no Red Sea, no army, no scorpion in the desert that can prevent you from reaching where God said that you will go. You're not hearing me. So if God tells me that in five years he's going to give me something, then when I go to the doctor next week and the doctor tells me I've got three months to live, uh, I walk out of 
times. The problem is that we always have too much to say, too many opinions, too many complaints, too many ideas of what we want to do, the results that we want, when we want it and we don't realize that if we could do it ourselves, we would need God and we would not need faith. But see, that's how God created us. He Where you are is a place 
interesting because he and God all right. What is in the mind of Pharaoh? He tells us what Pharaoh is thinking. He says they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in, which is to say that the Israelites are wandering about in the confusion and they are boxed in. So the devil thinks he has you cornered. Into a 
get excited. We hear what God said to Moses. And God said, The Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. In the next verse, God said to Moses, Why are you crying to me? Your prayer ready? Your prayer ready? Right. And that's what God is saying to somebody. In partial, what you spend in January, Adam? Why are you crying to me? Oh my God, why are you crying? I'll tell my next to you. Why are you crying? Why the force? Why are you so stressed out? What is your problem? I said, tell them, just go forward.
va rester la paix. I shall hold my peace. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Watch God confuse your enemies. Watch God drop your situation. Yes, yes. Into the eyes. I'm, I'm done. It's, it's, it's a it's a term that actually means not only to be quiet but to be still and to do nothing. The action that is appropriate for this season is praise and worship. Yes. Hello? Yes. And, and, and here is what drop in my spirit. Some of you are about to try to acquire the heavenly Holy Ghost. I try to acquire loans for something that God wants to give you a miracle for. <laughs> Because that's the level of your faith is only at the place where you can trust God to give you favor with the lenders. Hey. And if you get said by yourself, I won't be a good reader. We have some loan, some, some credit card, some bank of money, and pass some paper on it. We love it. That's all of it, guys. I love it, my rich life, like Pastor Patrick on this. But God says the level of our faith has to go to the next level when I am trusting God. So God see the little paper in here. Oh, what are you doing? As we stand up in front of the Red Sea. But God said, move forward. And if you are crazy enough to move forward, a wind will hit you. And when the wind comes, hey, what am I talking about? I'm talking about that flow of the Atlantic that hits your spirit. And you just know that God is about to do something wonderful. Because the wind came before the water was split. When there was a wind, Israel knew God has shown up. Stand in the church. Is there an answer that I can pray? And I'm ready to pray right now. I'm, I'm so ready to pray to God this night. Is there an answer that I can pray? Because hear me. When you